All right, we're given some information, and it says heights of a men of a baseball team have a bell-shaped distribution. So I know this, that's bell-shaped, with a mean of 169 centimeters and a standard deviation of 9 centimeters. So what that means is by the empirical rule, if I'm one standard deviation above, meaning 169 plus 9, so 169 plus 9 gives me 178, 169 minus 9 gives me 160, by the empirical rule that says this is 68% of our data. And if I look at two standard deviations above and below the mean, I would take 169 plus 2 times our one standard deviation, which is 9, and I'd get 187. So that was found by 169 plus 2 times 9. Then I would do 169 minus 2 times 9. That would give me 151. Now if I want to find three standard deviations, I take 169 plus 3 times 9, so that'd be three standard deviations, which gives me 196, and 169 minus 3 times 9, and that gives me 142. So my empirical rule said this was 68%. My Two standard deviations is 95% of my data, and my three standard deviations are 99.7% of my data. So if we have a question that says, find the percent of the men that are between 142, I'm sorry, I wrote a 143 and that should have been a 142, are between 142 and 196, I can see that's going to be this 99.7% by the empirical rule. Then if I'm asked to find between 160 and 178 by the empirical rule, I can see that that's 68%. So with this empirical rule, you have to get this down, and this is a pure definition that says 68% of my data is within one standard deviation. So once again, one standard deviation is plus nine minus one, nine minus nine. Two standard deviations is two times nine, because that was my standard deviation. That's 95% of my data. And then three standard deviations would be one plus three times the nine. I don't know why I'm saying one. <laughs> would be the mean so in other words, how you're finding each one of these is the 68% equals 169, the mean, plus and minus 1 times your standard deviation. The 95% would equal your mean plus and minus 2 times a standard deviation, and then your 99.7% would equal your mean, plus or minus 3 times your standard deviation. So this column is your standard deviation, and this is the definition of the empirical rule.